When I heard that the woman was stabbed, I think it was one of my classmates in band whose relatives own the restaurant there. One of the co-workers that was the one who got stabbed. And so I heard this and I was like, wow. I was at a supermarket and I remember thinking, and maybe it was because of the videos I had seen, like, what if one of these guys around me just doesn't, doesn't like Asians and decides to take some kind of action. There's another aspect to the racism that we feel as Asian women. I think Asian women are sexualized in a way that men aren't. I remember I was sitting with my friend who we were planning the march with and we watched the news and we cried together. It was really upsetting. Cause that could be my mom, my friend, just in the nail salon, just getting their nails done and having such a terrible thing happen to them. There was a phase, I, I wouldn't say it lasted long, maybe about a week, but I was scared. Um, I couldn't feel like I could leave the house. I, I did have a sort of feeling that, you know, that what if, um, that really haunts me. And I remember thinking and looking around, well, these people look normal, but what are they, what are they really thinking? Um, and so it does have, there's, there's a mental fatigue that I think comes along with all of this hate on top of just the color of our skin, on top of just being South Asian or Korean American or Chinese American, there's also like this fetish that goes along with it. I think what's really important to understand is that this feeling might have been shared by, you know, like hundreds of thousands of Asian Americans around the US. When I heard those speeches in the early days, when our own presidents called it the China virus, and the Chinese virus and the Kung flu, I was already predicting that this was going to happen. There is a problem with racism in this country. Um, and it's not just against Asian Americans. It's against all people who don't look like the majority. Asians are completely innocent people are getting attacked and somehow blamed for a disease that started in an entirely different country, you know, a world away. And in some ways, um, it's a blessing to have these numbers, the 11,500, not a blessing that they occurred. Asian Americans are forever foreign, always seem to be a, an intruder, always seem to be representing something that is un-American. But a blessing that all of this is happening so that we are documenting it and, and we can say there is no question that this is happening. So what are we gonna do about it? We have a lot of work to do when it comes to truly upholding the beliefs that America was built on, that all men are created equal. You know, it's like once this hate has been let out, it continues on. And it's a bad and horrible statement about the ignorance of this country.